All right, guys, here once again with Jason ATS Feed with another product spotlight, this time on a 2JZ to GM adapter kit. Okay, so yeah, let's go over a couple of the things that we do different than everybody else. Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest things that we started doing many years ago was these steel inserts that we put in there. We make these steel nuts in-house, have them zinc plated, and uh, we press those in there. So if you need later, if you wanted to, and you stripped one out, you could you call us. Them. You could service them, nice. press them out, press some new ones in. We bolt our dowel pins in so that they don't fall out. We added these extra bolts so that people who started making a lot more power later in life could go to these mid-plate ears and add those to them if they wanted to. Now this kit comes with ARP hardware for the flywheel to the crankshaft. This flywheel, being that it's aluminum, does not use the machine steel spacer that the factory flex plate uses. This is going to go directly to the back of the crankshaft right. and then the bolts. And we're going to red Loctite those again and uh, 70 foot pounds of torque. This comes with a starter shim. And the reason for the starter shim is when this is actually mounted on the engine, I'm going to back of the engine would be towards me the front of the engine would be towards you so the starter shim would be over here what happens is is the the bolts that hold the torque converter in can be a little tall so we need to shim the starter back a little bit to realign with the ring gear because we moved the ring gear back to make more space to get the hardware in I see. and then the other thing is we don't want to have the head of that bolt come around and clip the tip of that starter and break the starter so we had to put a 3 16 shim in there to get that starter back far enough to clear all that hardware. Now, this is our aluminum flywheel, machined in-house, SFI certified. Ring gears are bolted on to make sure they don't fall off. And when they SFI certify these, they spin them at 13,000 RPM wow. for about 12 hours straight. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So when they tell us that they're good, we're pretty confident that they're good. Um, as far as balance goes, I've never had to rebalance one. I mean, they're pretty symmetrical. Everything that's on is machined to keep it in balance. It's an incredible kit and one that I have first-hand experience on. So I went from the A340 World just a few months ago to my first TH400, and I picked up this exact kit. Came in a box here from ATF Speed. Every lick of hardware, you have torque specs, you have an explanation as to what you're gonna use these bolts for. So everything, there's instructions, detailed instructions yeah. that come Stickers. with the kit. There's, I did the actual mid plate. I didn't just do the adapter. I went ahead and bought the ears to get ahead, go ahead and weld to my chassis and do the mid plate. And I was just sharing with Jason a minute ago. I had factory motor mounts. So just the other day, we went 750s on factory TRD motor mounts in my right. Supra. So I thought, man, these, these would be my first solid mounts welded, welding the, I guess the chassis to the engine. Things right. are gonna Eesh. vibrate, not be as good and friendly on the street. My car still drives like a dream. I can't believe how smooth it drives. And this is just gonna help, even with the longevity of my engine. Everything right. just being a well, lot what more a lot of people don't realize is when, you're, when your motor mounts are in the center of the block and that motor's making the kind of power that you're making, right. you're stressing the hell out of the cylinder walls. Right. It can damage the block, it, it makes your rings not seal, you get a lot of blow by. It's really hard on the engine. I know. So once we put this in there and we weld it all into the chassis and now that, that thrusting of the engine it's right, right at plate. the back, right? Yeah. So now we're not getting all that distortion of the cylinder walls, breaking the sides of the block. It makes things a lot stronger to do this. And then a quick tip that I wanted to share as well from, again, first-hand experience. When I did this, I wanted to talk about that one. We welded these plates to my chassis, and like you can see here, Jason's offered three different Let's spots, depending here. on your car, depending on your application. There's three different mounting points, but you'll only, you're only really using two. So you get to choose either the top or the bottom. When we did this to my car, we realized that the top, although we could have fit it, it was really, really tight to the chassis. It's meant to be that way. I know. So okay, there's see. a reason, because we have that big four inch downpipe right. running down through there. We weren't right? thinking, that, so to, if, to get this mounted, we had the exaust out of the car. So again, if this is <laughs> yeah. front of the car, back of the yep. car is towards me, yep. we put this in there, yep. that four inch pipe comes right through here. I know, it would have cleared so it perfectly. If you, have, if you have it down here. We took the easy route, just for installation's sake, and we installed them at the bottom. Now, I couldn't fit my downpipe. Right. I had to come back to ATS speed, and we had to make a little moon cut. Yeah, we machined a four and a half inch yep. cut out of it. And to, that allowed for the proper clearance to fit my... So we made it work, but 
Yes, it's this, it's meant to be. I mean, the angle of that floor. Yep. It's no, meant it, to it be would right have worked. There. It would have worked. These perfect. end up having to be a little lower. You can't really have them, you know, all the way up. These are a little bit too long. They can yep. be cut down. It's right. Just trying to give you enough to work with. hundred percent. That you can fabricate the system yourself. Right. I can't make it fit perfectly to every car, but I try to get you as close as I possibly can. I agree. Can. And everything that came in our box, every lick of hardware, everything was there to be able to comfortably adapt this adapter plate as well as in my case the mid plate to my right. Toyota Supra to my new TH400. So with our kit, right, if you buy just the adapter kit, of course it comes with no ears. If you buy the mid plate kit, then it comes with ears. And these ears on the website, there's a few options for what chassis type you may okay. have. Now, of course I can't have every chassis known to man on my website. So if you feel like yours is not in the list, then we could probably come up with something that's gonna get it a lot closer for you. So these are the super ears that we have. And of course, that's pretty much the widest kit you can have. Right. But we can take the super ears off. What right? other options do you have? We have the Nissan S13, S14, okay. S15, yep. right? That's about two inches narrower, okay? And before you weld and, and, and pick what holes to use, I guess really think of your exhaust the options or think right. of maybe for somebody who's running an exhaust yeah, I mean, motor, I, it doesn't really matter. I didn't really have to do this. I probably could have just put the two holes, but I'm trying to make this a universal kit because yeah. two J's are in everything. I mean, we got Cooper with the Camaro with two the J's J's J in there. there. You know I mean? no, I know. So we had to do the same thing, right? So we gave him all the different ears and said, hey, try to match the best set that fits in a Camaro, right? So now, you know, technically we could have a kit for the, for the Camaro as yep. well, but so back to the, yeah, this is the S13, S14, S15. We, we take those off. Now we have, this is what we call the 280Z. Okay. This one makes it a width of uh, 23 and a half inches. Right, so now it's nice and short. Yep. I think the S13, is it on there? Yeah, this is 26 inches wide. And the Supra is 27 and 5 eighths inches wide. And now we also have these are for the Ford Mustang. This will fit from the Fox body uh, to the SN95. So this will work from what, uh, the 1979 or 80, whatever, when the Mustang started, right. all the way up to uh, 2004 Mustang. Wow. So they're labeled passenger side, driver side. So when you put this one, obviously, you make side. it easy, Jason. Yeah. Yeah, that's sweet. And they're different heights, obviously, because the frame rails are different in a Mustang. I see. And then we also have another one over here. This one is for the S2000, 2 oh, JZ, wow. and an S2000. And those, we had to bring them all the way down like that. I grabbed two of, this, of the oh, same side. side I see. Yeah, I see. Excellent. mistake, but you get it. It would be on there like so. And that would give us the what we needed for the S2000 to make the S2000 work. So, you know, we probably have a set of ears that would work for your application. If not, um, you know, maybe we could custom make them. It would depend on how complicated they would be. But um, yeah, this is the mid plate kit. We'd love to do this in anything over say 1200 horsepower or so. You know, some people will put 1500 to- Yeah, some people will wait a little longer before little they longer. upgrade to this stuff. Um, but, but man, I highly recommend it myself. But I mean, we had what, two, two, three years ago in Maryland, we had a lot of people there that were running this kit. and. Yeah. Uh, I think when Maryland was over, I had five people call me and they all broke the block, right? They all wow. were like, wow, what do we, you know, we need a mid plate. Well, I already have one. Here you go. Oh, nice. So anybody that has this late model kit can buy these ears later on the website and add it to it. Right. If you don't have them already, um, this is standard. All of our kits now come with these mounting holes on them. This is beautiful, guys. This is bling for your race car here at ATF Speed. Products made in the USA, baby. One awesome. more thing I forgot when we were talking about. Yeah. You said instructions come with the kit. Yeah. If for some reason you lose the instructions or you don't have the instructions, they are on the website. You can download them or print them from the website and have another set of instructions on how to install this kit. Awesome. Hope that helped, guys. Stay tuned for our future product spotlights. See you later.